Top of the morning to you. It's Wednesday the 27th of November. It's what coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm looking out over Belfast. I'm on the middle Braniel Road and there's a lake of fog or mist that has come up Belfast Lock and it us up uh, stretching from Belfast over the Lagan up towards Lisburn. So I'm just capturing that at the minute. I'm gonna walk on on up the road. It's uh, the temperature this morning was quite challenging. Uh, last night we probably got minus four, minus five, but it's warming up now, and this river of fog will disappear. It'll be burnt off. It's a beautiful morning here. Uh, quite icy. You can see uh, patches of, of uh, ice. This road, Middle Braniel Road that we live on, is treacherous in this kind of weather. Not too bad over at this side, but on the other side it's absolutely shocking because the, 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 the hills are a lot steeper. So I'm just taking a dander up to the viewpoint to let you see the full extent of this fog or mist. And there's another wee view back down the hill. And this is what you get on our wee road. You get the gougers dumping off car tires and uh, I rang the council to remove uh, to remove those but uh, there's been obviously no, no response and nobody wants to take responsibility for it. Now to be fair to the council uh, Castle Ray and Lisburn Borough Council did remove there was other rubbish that was left there last week and I rang about it and they did come and lift it but oh, about 10 tires there and uh, nothing, nothing done about them and there's two folks from the top of the hill here who to their credit They go out every Sunday morning with litter picking bags and we see them and I'm not going to mention their names because they probably wouldn't want that but they come out every Sunday morning and they go up and down the Middle Braniel Road and the Middle Braniel Road is probably a mile and a half long and it's difficult enough to climb it's steep and they collect bags and bags of litter. We don't mind people coming along our wee road but take your litter home with you. Instead of dumping off your carryouts, particularly up around the corner here at the viewpoint. You can see where this frost is being burnt off. And this uh, fog phenomena, it doesn't happen very often. I have videoed it maybe four or five times uh, since 2014. It usually happens about the last, last video I made of this was, I think it was about four years ago. We ran in the hedge there. So I'm coming up to uh, the viewpoint just around this corner here. When you're down in that fog, and we were down in it, picking up the kids and leaving them off to school this morning, 
we set off at 8 o'clock when they're down in it. It is absolutely freezing cold. It's dangerous driving conditions. It's nice up here in the sunshine. That's the Black Mountain and Devis in front of me. And my walking has de de deteriorated vastly. Uh, I've either got rheumatism or uh, sciatica, maybe a mixture of both. And I got my hip replaced oh, about five years ago. I uh, had to pay for that myself. Um, cost eleven and a half thousand. The uh, consultant who who did that for me told me that the waiting list for a hip replacement was between four and five years back then. So that's what you pay your national insurance for, and you have to wait in agony for four or five years. But I'm coming up to the viewpoint here, this corner, and I'm just watching the feet because it is icy. Uh, this is where the Blue Lights introduction was filmed all those years ago. Um, at this corner, and there was a supposedly a crash, a uh, fast car chase, and a crash, and it looked really, really good. So we're looking out to uh, Dundonald over there, just watching the feet. And this is worth videoing this uh, mist or fog phenomena. It's like a river, it's like a stream, uh, or a lock. It's as if Belfast Lock has, has, has come on up, and I can see it's, it's burning off from the, from the hill here. It's still quite extensive. I'll get rid of myself, don't need to see me. There you are. You see a fog from uh, the Gildenhurt Braniel viewpoint looking over Belfast. And there's Harlan Reef Crane peeping up. Uh, there it is. The top of the crane. So that shows you the, the height of uh, this blanket of fog. It's uh, eerie looking, it's uh, surreal. But it won't stay long. Almost supernatural. I'm glad I made the effort to come up and see this. Could be back next week. Or it could be that you'll wait another three or four years to see something similar. Okay, okay. We haven't had any snow really. Well, we did have one evening and morning of snow, but uh, 
we're having low temperatures uh, which is very unpleasant but uh, winter so far hasn't been too bad it is, November has been reasonably mild thankfully and there uh, haven't been too many cars up round this way this morning because I'm on round the corner and there's a, a couple of really bad hills downward heading hills and uh, if you bring a car or a lorry down in icy conditions like this uh, you're liable to go off the road and this boy is head cutting getting it done before springtime and this is slippy under my feet right I'm gonna head up home and get a wee cup of tea a wee bit of toast <laughs> just taking my time here of course that is slippy beautiful morning I'm just noticing this because I'm looking back way as you can see that mist is actually quite extensive it is it's actually further up and further away than what I expected and this is out over the Lagan Valley and if I pan round there it is in the distance as well I forgot to mention talking about my aches and pains uh, I had a hip replacement as I say five years ago paid eleven and a half thousand for it you wonder what you paid your national insurance for all those years you had to pay for it yourself and I'm gonna I'm getting a scan next week to see if I need a hip replacement in the right hip because my walking is you know, real real pain down the right side or in right leg almost like sciatica uh, and I'm told that I'll if I go for that operation and I'll go private because you'll not wait f for f four years in, in pain and I have the money thankfully if I go for that you'll be paying 15 16 grand which is totally ridiculous you know, you know, whenever you've paid your national insurance, and they tell us that the NHS isn't broken, and I beg to differ, as do all those thousands of people, thousands of people waiting for NHS critical operations I'm in the happy position that I can actually pay for it out of my own pocket our own pocket and go what is it Kingsbridge or the Ulster Clinic dear help those people it's not fair that you paid in all your life and they're telling you four or five years for a, a life-changing operation that you've actually paid for and, and they're, they're saying five years to wait this is, this is, this is, this is diabolical but I'm on a wee rant now on oh, such a beautiful morning I should I should maybe keep quiet look at that mist 
It's not magical. Anyway, enough of my grumps. Hope you're good where you are. We're nearly into December and I've avoided the snow really so far. And it's, it's great. I love avoiding the snow. I hate the snow. Haven't been out on my bike for uh, a good wee while now because it's far too cold and far too icy. So my volume of videos is, has been severely cut. But then that's only to be expected in the winter time. Okay, see you soon. <laughs>